Hey everybody, it's Dr. J, and today, yes, today, we're talking about the three simple gas laws. Let's talk chemistry. So there's four basic properties of a gas. Um, we have pressure, volume, temperature, and that you have in your moles. So we use N for that value. Now, simple gas laws are basically describing a relationship between these four different properties, right? So essentially, say you have a pair of properties, one might increase and the other might decrease or might increase as well, right? But when one changes, it's going to impact the other. And that's all what simple gas laws is about, describing that relationship. So the three simple gas laws we're gonna talk about today, Boyle's law, Charles law, and Avogadro's law, okay? And essentially what you need to understand about these laws is that we're going to find out that two of the four properties are going to be constant. And then the relationship is going to be between the other two properties, right? So let's talk about these laws. So first up, we have Boyle's law. Boyle's law is the pressure of gas is inversely proportional to its volume. So in this case, we're focused on pressure and volume keeping our temperature in the moles constant. So Boyle's law can be written as this, P1, P, P1, V1 equals P2, V2. All right, so this can be Boyle's law, or you could write it as PV equals K, with K being the Boyle's law constant. Now, essentially, right, let's talk about what exactly is Boyle's law, right? Because we understand the pressure of gas is inversely proportional to its volume. What does that mean, Dr. J? What the heck? All right, so we're only focused on volume and pressure, right? Because our temperature in moles must be constant, be the same. We not touching that, do not touch those two, right? So essentially, if we got gas in here, right? If we got gas in here, say our pressure's at one atmosphere and our volume's at one liter. If we decrease our volume, right? What's going to happen to our pressure? It's inversely related. So if you decrease your volume, your pressure is going to increase, right? Now, this is Boyle's Law, right? That's the reason behind, and, well, excuse me. So that's Boyle's Law, right? You decrease your volume, your pressure increases. If you increase your pressure, right, excuse me, if you increase your volume, What's going to happen to our pressure? The pressure will, in this case, decrease, right? So going back and forth here, right? We can see that with this example here, right? With those gas molecules. Now, we're going to talk about the why in a later video, right? But for now, Boyle's Law, once again, is the pressure of gas is inversely proportional to its volume. So if the volume increases, your pressure is decreasing. Give your pressure increases your volume must have decreased next is charles law charles law states that volume is directly proportional to temperature so in this case the pressure in the moles are going to stay the same those are our constants so if we look at charles law right here's the graph i love this graph right here all right um we have our moles and pressure being constant here so let's say we got one mole and we got our pressure in atmosphere. We have 0.5 moles, the pressure is one atmosphere. We got 0.25 moles and the pressure is still one atmosphere here. So the only difference is the amount of moles we have. And we all start at our absolute zero, which in this case is gonna be zero Kelvin, okay? So Charles Law states that volume is proportional to temperature. So essentially, Remember this trend, everybody. As temperature increases, your volume will increase. So as we increase the temperature, right? Temperature right here, volume right here. As we increase the temperature for this particular gas, what's going to happen to our volume? It's going to increase. If we increase the temperature for this particular right gas, it's going to increase. If we increase the temperature here, it's all increasing, right? So just depending on how much actual moles you have will impact how fast the volume increases okay but the key trend here with charles law is that volume is directly proportional to temperature so essentially if you increase the temperature 
you're going to increase your volume. So let's look at this in this example here. I like this example here. So as we mentioned, right, if I got gas and increase the temperature, the volume is going to increase. And we can see this in this balloon example, right? The gas molecules are going to expand that balloon, right? All these gas molecules boiling around, hitting each other harder, right? And we can see, right, more energy is going to expand the total volume compared to if you got ice water. So because the volume is directly proportional to temperature, right, if the temperature decreases, then your volume should decrease. And we see this, right, this cold water. What's happening to our volume? It's decreasing compared to our boiling water, okay? And we can write Charles' law in this manner here, V over T equals to V over uh, V2, V2 over T2, okay? And this is Charles' law, right? Key thing I want everybody to remember from this slide, as temperature increases, volume increases. And lastly, we have Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law is basically our volume is directly proportional to the number of gas molecules, Okay, so our temperature and pressure are going to be constant. And we can write Avogadro's law, volume V1 over N, N1, okay, equals to V2 over N2. So if we know this trend, then you guys are going to be good. As the amount of gas increases, the volume increases, right? So when one thing happens, the other thing is going to match the same thing, right? Because it's directly proportional. So if we look at this chart here, as we increase our moles of gas, right? Our volume is increasing. Okay. As simple as that, right? If I blow in a balloon, uh, nitrogen, right? Depending on how many moles I have, the volume is going to be impacted by those moles. Okay. Now this is just stating, right? Equal volumes of gases contain equal number of molecules. So the gas, the type of gas is not going to impact Avogadro's law, right? It's all about the amount of gas you have and that volume for that. So I could have nitrogen and hydrogen, right? And but they can have the same amount of molecules, right? So they're not going to be impacted, right? I blow this up, it's still going to increase the same amount as I blow this up. Still a gas.